hello viewers how are you hope you are fine welcome back to my channel drawing time with story if you are new in my channel i will introduce myself and my channel with you i am suraya parvin and in my channel i select a theme or an object to draw or paint and during painting or drawing i will not i will not just draw or paint i will narrate you a beautiful story just related to the topic i select to draw or paint so please don't forget to subscribe my channel to stay connected with me to stay connected with drawing time story because it's fun time because we uh, draw or paint and at the same time there is a chance to listen to a beautiful story that is a moral story a fun story a kids story that is a big inspiration for our life so as you saw my today's topic was to paint daisy flowers the fancy little beautiful daisy flowers and obviously i will need a story that is named the daisy it is a fictional short story written by agnes taylor and ida m johnson so let's get started to the story time the story states in this way that now listen little folks while i tell you a story about the country where the grass grows so fresh and green the flowers bloom so beautifully and the birds sing their sweetest songs close by the roadside stood a white frame house with pretty green blinds and over the porch in front of the door crept a lovely trumpet vine with its clusters of orange and red blossoms that were just the shape of trumpet in front of the house lay a small garden enclosed in palings and full of blooming flowers on the other side of the road ran a little brook of clear water and out on its bank in the cool green grass grew a timid little daisy she was a very happy little flower and day by day opened out her white petals like shining rays round the little golden sun in the center she never thought of being unseen down in the grass but turned toward the warm sun and blue sky and nodded lovingly to the bright and beautiful flowers in the garden over the way but most of all the daisy admired the happy lark who came to the brook every morning for a drink and bath and then would hop around the daisy in the soft grass and finally start to visit the sun and did the daisy supposed as he would begin the sweetest song while down in the grass and then fly upward and upward until out of sight but still singing each morning this would happen Sometimes the lark would tell her of the lovely things he saw in his flight. And sometimes he would say, "Oh, how soft sweet grass and hot a lovely little flower with gold in his heart and silver on its dress." How happy this made the little daisy feel no one can describe. the bird would kiss it with its beak sing to it and again fly up to the blue sky above one morning as the daisy stretched out its white lips joyfully to the warm air and light it missed the happy voice of the lark after waiting a very long time she finally heard a faint sorrowful voice which she recognized as belonging to the lark his song was no longer gay but sounded mournful and sad alas he had good reason to be sad 
he had been caught and made a prisoner in a cage that hung by the window in the little white house across the road to be sure he could look out and talk to the beautiful garden flowers but do you know little fox larks are only happy and can only sing gladly when out in the beautiful sunlight and flying over the trees hills and meadows Oh how sad this made the little daisy and how much she wished to be of some service to the bird who had loved her and been so kind to her but what could she do such a simple little flower and she closed her white petals in sleep that night she felt very sad indeed Early the next morning two boys came into the garden opened the gate and walked straight across the road to fire the daisy green one boy carried a large knife in his hand and here is a splendid crowd of grass with a lovely daisy growing in it frank just the thing for our lark so frank took his knife cut up the peach of grass and put it in the case with the lark come frank and henry sounded the father's voice from the wagon we are waiting for you the boys hurriedly closed the door of the case and the poor lark and daisy were left alone how happy the daisy felt to be near the lark once more there is no water said the captive lark they have all gone out and forgotten to give me a drop of water they will not be home till night i heard them talking of what a fine day they would have at the picnic my throat is so hot and dry the daisy had one little dew drop left which had fallen into her cup the last night before and she kindly offered it to the lark for a little while he felt some better but as the day advanced his throat grew so hot and dry he felt as though he had a fire within him alas i must die i must bid farewell to the warm sunshine the green grass and all the beautiful things that god has created and then he thrust his beak into the cool turf to refresh himself a little with the fresh grass nodded to the daisy and kissed it with his beak and as he had often done before and said you also will with the with her hair you poor little flower they have given you to me with the little patch of earth and green grass in exchange for the whole world which which was mine out there and how happy we both were both outside the glad brook then he stretched out his pretty wings and tried so hard to sing but could only sing to it tweet in a weak mournful tone his little head bent down towards the flower the bird's heart was broken with want and pining then the daisy couldn't fold his lips as it had done the evening before to sleep but dropped sick and sorrowful to the earth not till mo- not till morning did the boys come and when they found the bird dead they wept many bitter tears for having deprived the dear lark of its freedom and having forgotten to give it water and they promised their mama never to be cruel or unthoughtful again they dug a pretty grave for the bird and adorned it with leaves and flowers but the turf with the daisy on it was thrown out into the dusty road no one thought of the kind little flower which had felt more for the poor lark than anyone else and would have been so glad to help and console him if she had been able to do so 
the daisy flowers are so beautiful in its appearance and it symbolizes so cute meanings now we will get to know how they symbolize daisy symbolize innocence and purity this stems from an old celtic legend according to the legend whenever an infant died god sprinkled daisies over the earth to cheer the parents up in norse mythology the daisy is freya's sacred flower freya is the goddess of love beauty and fertility and as such the daisy came by symbolize childbirth motherhood and new beginnings daisies are sometimes given to congratulate new mothers they also mean chastity and transformation because of the roman myth of virtuans and bellies virtuans god of seasons and gardens became enamored with bellies a nymph he continuously pursued her and in order to escape his affections she turned herself into a daisy the scientific name bellies stems from this story daisies are composite flowers meaning that they actually consist of two flowers combined into one the inner section is called a disc floret and the outer petal section is called a ray floret because daisies are composed of two flowers that blend together so well they also symbolize true love in old english daisies were referred to as daisy eyes because at night the petals close over the yellow center and during the day they reopen the phrase as fresh as a daisy originated from this signifying that someone had a good night's rest the word daisy also made its way into other slang words and phrases in the 18s the phrase ups a daisy was commonly used to encourage children to get up when they fall this eventually transformed into oopsie daisy or oopsie a daisy an exclamation after a stumble or mistake during this time daisy also became english slang for something excellent or appalling this term made an appearance in 1993 doc holiday film thumbstone in which he uses phrases like you are no daisy no daisies at all the daisy and its meaning also inspired renowned authors and poets throughout history i hope you both like the painting and the stories behind this beautiful flower so don't forget to subscribe my channel to stay connected with me to stay connected with drawing time with the story we will paint together we will listen to a story together still then bye